Anonymous watch guy here with a full review video for you today. Quick wrist check, wearing the Yema Rally Graph. Very cool Panda Mecha Quartz Chronograph from Yema. Uh, but the subject of today's video is the Mido Ocean Star. Now I have had this watch for a while and definitely have really enjoyed my time with it. Uh, and in my opinion, it may be the best sub $1,000 diver, Swiss diver, on the market. Uh, so at the end of the video, maybe leave me a comment and let me know if you agree. Also, if you like the video, give me a like or maybe subscribe to the channel. Uh, but let's take a closer look at the watch. Uh, this is a 42 and a half millimeter watch. It is approximately 49 millimeters lug tip to lug tip does have a 22 millimeter lug width it is only 11.75 millimeters thick so very thin for a dive watch with 200 meters water resistance you do have a screw down crown at the three o'clock position that is signed it is a flat sapphire crystal with dual AR coating. So it's got AR on the inside and the outside of the crystal. Looks like I may have a little smudge on the glass there, but this is a great crystal. It really just disappears. When you've got a really good piece of glass on a watch, it's, it's definitely very nice and very noticeable. Uh, this is running the Mido Caliber 80 which is a modified ETA C07 movement, which is a modified ETA 2824 uh, that does have 25 joules and 80 hours power reserve. Mito is part of the Swatch Group, so it does have the nice ETA movement there. But just some killer specs on the watch, uh, and, and that's really, really uh, part of why it's such a great value for money. Uh, but the watch is also just a very attractive. Very nicely finished. Uh, some nice brushing on the tops of the lugs there. You've got that high polished bevel uh, that runs on the top and on the bottom of the lugs. Really nice contrast. Uh, really handsomely finished overall. Uh, very well finished watch. Uh, a level of finishing that you might... Uh, see on a much more expensive watch but very nicely finished uh, you do have a 120 click unidirectional bezel it does have an aluminum insert uh, the bezel action is very good not a really audible bezel but very good bezel action maybe just a smidge of back play uh, but nothing uh, terrible uh, lines up well. You've got a loomed pip up there at the 12 o'clock position. You also do have a uh, super luminova. Uh, the loom is pretty good on this watch. Not great, but pretty good. Uh, you do have a kind of a matte black dial. Uh, and then you've got your Mido logo just below the 12 o'clock and automatic. And then you've got your Ocean Star in caliber 80 which is the movement you do have applied indices uh, at the hour positions you've got your kind of stacked indices at the six at the 12 o'clock position uh, your shorter ones there at the nine and at the three you've also got your day date um, really like the skeletonized partially skeletonized handset done in high polish uh, like the high polish uh, of the indices as well. Uh, really like the tip of orange on that second hand, uh, matching the orange of the caliber 80. Uh, but very attractive dial, uh, very attractively finished watch. Uh, I do also like this bracelet. Again, you've got some nice brushing on the bracelet. And the bracelet is kind of uh, rounded. You can see all the links. Uh, so it's, it's very comfortable. No sharp edges. Uh, very well done. Uh, and the clasp is signed with the Mito logo. It is a double pusher. It is all milled out. Uh, very well done clasp. You've also got this great 
micro, micro adjustment or dive extension system down here in the clasp as well that extends out. You can click in and adjust in smaller increments. Very well done. Lots of functionality in this clasp, a great clasp, and still very thin uh, with all the functionality in the clasp. You do have a very cool starfish, uh, since it is the ocean star on the case back there, uh, and then some specks around uh, the case back there, Mito, Sapphire, Crystal, 200 meters water resistance, uh, but a very well done case back. You can see it is affixed to the watch with screws. It is a screw down case back there. Uh, but just a very, very well done watch. The bracelet is sized with screw links. Uh, just some features on this watch that you would expect to see at a much higher price point. And for only 930 US dollars, um, it's really hard to beat. Uh, you know, you've got the outstanding finishing, you've got the ETA movement, uh, you've got the 80 hours power reserve, you've got just a great piece of glass on here. That crystal just absolutely disappears. You almost forget that it's there. Uh, just a really, really top-notch watch. Mido may not be as well known uh, in the U.S., uh, but to watch enthusiasts, um, more familiar with Mito um, and uh, maybe more and more people hopefully become aware of the brand because uh, they make some killer pieces. Uh, it's just a really, really great brand. There's some good Swatch Group brands uh, that maybe, you know, are more familiar like obviously Omega or Longines uh, or Hamilton. Um, but, uh, you know, Mito and Certina and a couple of the less lesser known brands make some great pieces. Uh, but negatives on the watch, uh, the only thing that I would say is these crown guards and this crown is kind of small. Operating this crown can be difficult at times, especially with my big fumbly chubby fingers. That's the only downfall for the watch from my perspective is just operating the screw down crown. Other than that, uh, I think it's pretty solid. Uh, maybe a ceramic bezel insert instead of aluminum uh, would have been an upgrade. But at this price point, I think there's tremendous value. So I'll give you a wrist shot to end the review here and show you what the watch looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. Uh, the size at 42 and a half millimeters, I think is great for me personally. And I think it would also work on a smaller wrist. There you can see the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. Give you kind of a wrist roll here. Just a great looking watch. Very comfortable to wear. Uh, with the under 50 millimeter lug width as well, uh, it's gonna fit just fine if you've got a little bit smaller wrist, uh, but very thin for the 200 meters water resistance. Very comfortable watch. Just a great wear uh, and tremendous value for money. Uh, so there you have it. The Mido Ocean Star Caliber 80. Uh, if you like the video, give me a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Uh, if there is a different diver, a different Swiss diver that's less than $1,000 that you think uh, offers better value than this Mido, uh, maybe leave that down in the comments for me. Thanks for watching.